What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video we're going to be drawing Captain Man from Henry Danger. Let's get started in the center of our page with the eyes. So we're going to start on the left side and draw in a circle. Starting from the very top. We'll work our way down towards the bottom. And then back up towards the top. Now let's leave a gap in the center and draw the same thing over on the right. So we're going to line up the top of the circle. I'm just going to bring that down towards the same height that we have on the left. And then back up towards the top. Now we're going to shift the iris and pupil towards the inside of the eye. So let's start on the inside on the left, draw a smaller circle. Going up, around, and then back up on the inside. Now let's do the same thing over on the right. Starting from the inside of the eye, going out, down, and just pull that in. Let's add a small highlight circle on the top left side of each iris. Starting up here, come in, and then back out. Let's line this up on the right, and do the same thing. Now we'll add a smaller circle in the center of the iris, but we're going to tuck this in behind the highlight. So let's start down here, around, and back out, and we'll do the same thing on the right. And then we'll fill those in black. Let's move out and draw on the outside of the mask. Starting above the left eye, I'm going to start with a straight line going across the top towards the right. And from the ends, we're going to angle down and out. A straight line, down to right about there. And do the same thing on the right side. And then from the outside, we're going to angle down and in, just underneath the eyes. Down to right about there. Do the same thing on the right. And then from the bottom, we're going to angle up and in towards the center. We're going to leave a gap in the middle. So up and in to right about there. And do the same thing on the right side. Let's close off the center with a curve. Starting back on the left, we're going to go up. And we'll hook that back down on the right side. Let's add that trim along the top of the mask. From the outside on the left, we're going to step down. Follow that same angle line going up. And go straight across the top. And then we'll come down on the right side. Let's move to the center and draw on the nose. We're going to start on the left side, draw a curve, coming down and then back up. Then we're going to move down and draw on the mouth. Let's go back over towards the left side, come down and then up. And we'll add a bracket along the corners of the mouth. Now we're going to move back out towards the outside corner of the mask and draw the lower half of the head. Let's start on the left side. We're going to draw a half circle. We come down, in towards the center. I'm just going to pull that out and up on the right side. Now we're going to go back to the mouth. We're going to step down and draw a curve from left to right. Come down and up to the lower lip. Then we'll move out to the side, just underneath the mask on the left. We're going to curve out and hook that in. Do the same thing on the right. Now I'm going to go back up and draw on the side of the head. Starting on the left, I'm going to curve up and just hook that in. And do the same thing on the right side. Coming up to the same height. Now I'm going to go straight up for the top of the hairline. And from the top, I'm going to curve in and down towards the center widow's peak. Let's start on the left. I'm going to go across and then pull that down in the middle. And then go up and out on the right. Let's draw on the top of the hair. Starting back on the left side, we're going to start with a curve going out and then up. Now we're going to draw a wave. We're going to come in and up for the top, round this out, and we'll just hook that down. Now we're going to do an overlap. We're going to step back over towards the left, curve up, and then pull that down again towards the right side, right about there. We'll do one more time. Stepping up, curving out. I'm just going to pull this down and then in towards the top right corner of the head. I'm going to move back to the center and draw a curve going up and then out towards the left. Now I'm going to draw the side of the head in behind the hair. Let's start on the left side. I'm going to step out, curve out, 
round out the head and then pull that in. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting up here, bring it out, rounding out the head, and then pulling that in. Now let's draw on the ears. From the bottom of the hair on the side, we're going to step up. Start by curving up, rounding out the ear, and then pulling that in toward the side of the head. Let's line this up on the right and do the same thing. Going up, rounding out the ear, and then pulling that in. And then we're going to add the fold inside the ear. Starting at the bottom of the hair, curve up and then out. Do the same thing on the right. Let's go back to the inside. We're going to curl around, going out and then hooking that back in. Now I'm going to go back and draw on the bridge of the nose. Starting over on the left, we're going to draw a short curve, going up and then down on the right. Now we're going to move down and draw on the sides of the body. Starting over on the left, underneath the head, curve out and then down towards the hip, move over towards the right, curve out, and then down towards the same height. Let's close off the bottom. Starting back over on the left side, and curve down, and then pull that up on the right. Let's draw on the belt. From the left side, we're going to step up, and draw that same curve, going across, and we're going to add a belt buckle. Then we gap in the center, we draw two lines, one on the left, and then one on the right. Let's add the zipper coming down the center of the body. We're going to draw two lines, one on the left, and the chin will come all the way down towards the buckle. Move over towards the right, draw the same thing. Now from the top, we're going to step down on the left side of the zipper, angle up and out towards the side of the body, and do the same thing on the right. Now I just want to thicken this up. We're going to step down, just trace that line coming in, and up towards the right. Now we're gonna move down and do that again. Starting back on the left side, angle up and out. Same thing on the right. And then we'll step down and draw that twice. Let's add a stripe along the top. Starting on the left side, we're gonna curve down and out. Step in, draw that twice. And do the same thing on the right. Let's continue working down with the legs. From the belt buckle, we we'll step down, draw a curve, left to right, going up and then down from the lower torso, leaving a gap in the center, step over toward the left, curve out and then down towards the left heel, move over towards the right, go out and down towards the right heel. Let's round out the bottom of the feet, starting from the left heel, and then come down, and then we'll bend this up towards the toe, and then we'll do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to go back to the left side and curve the top of the foot. Starting from the toe, we're going to go up. And we're just going to bend this down, aiming towards the heel. We're going to stop right about there. And we'll do the same thing on the right. Going up, and then bending that down. Now let's move back up to the hip and draw on the side of the leg. Starting from the left hip, we're going to go out, round out the leg, and then pull that in on top of the foot. Let's add a thick sole along the bottom of the foot. We want to take this curve, step up, and trace that across. And then from the top of the foot, we're going to step up and curve down the middle and back up towards the inside of the leg. We'll line this up on the right and do the same thing. Now we're going to add three lines on top of the foot. Starting from the outside, we'll step in, draw one line coming down, leave the gap. Draw that two more times. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting with the first line on the outside, step in, draw that twice. And now we're going to add a strap curving across the thigh. Starting on the left side, we curve down and in towards the inside of the leg. Line this up on the right, going out and then up. Let's step down and just follow that same curve coming in on both sides. Let's add two lines on the inside of the strap. One coming straight down on the outside, and then one on the inside. Let's do the same thing on the right. Let's add a trim on the side of the hips. Starting from the top of the strap on the outside, angle up and in underneath the belt. Step up and go on that twice. Let's do the same thing on the right. I'm going up and in, step up and go that twice. 
We're also gonna add a pouch on the side of the hips. From the top of the belt on the left, we're gonna step up, draw a short line going out, line this up on the right and do the same thing. And then it comes straight down the side of the leg, and we'll pull that back in. Let's move to the side and draw on the arms. We're gonna start halfway down the side of the body. So right here, I'm gonna curve out, and then down towards the wrist, line this up on the right, and then do the same thing. Let's go back to the left side and draw on the thumb. From the wrist, we're gonna draw a small half circle. Curve in, then back out. At the end of the thumb, we'll add a bracket. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting with that half circle, and then we'll add a bracket. And then we're gonna add three fingers on either side. We're gonna start at the bottom curve of the thumb. We come down and bend that up around the bracket. Step down, curve down, and then up the second finger. Now on the side, we're gonna curve the third finger going out. We're gonna round up the arm, and then pull that up and in underneath the head. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting with the first finger, second, and the third we're gonna go out, up and bend that in underneath the head. From the top of the thumb, we're gonna step up and draw a curve, going up and then out for the edge of the glove on both sides. And now we're gonna step all the way up to the top and draw that same curve, going up and then out. From the top curve, we're gonna step up and just fall down, coming back in behind the body. Do the same thing on the right. Let's add that V-shaped trim on the back of the arm. Starting at the very top here, come straight down, and it'll pull that straight in. Let's do the same thing on the right. Coming down, and then pulling that straight in. Let's trace that out on the outside. Stepping out, come down towards the bottom, and we'll pull that in. And then we're gonna add that patch on the back of the hand. Starting from the top of the glove, we'll step down. It's gonna follow that same curve coming in to right about there. And we're gonna angle down and out. And we'll follow that same curve going back up and out toward the outside of the hand. Let's do the same thing on the right. Stepping down, curve across and in. Angle down and out. Curve up and out. And that's pretty much it. There's Captain Man from Henry Danger. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your request in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.